If I had my dream, every church basement would have a roots. And if every church basement had a roots, youth homelessness and young adult homelessness would go away because they would just be adopted by these communities of people who care about them and they would stop being invisible. Roots is a nonprofit that has a young adult shelter for 18 to 25 year olds every night of the week. And we have a Friday meal program. We're located in the U District of Seattle. We are open every day, holidays, snow, doesn't matter. And at this point, we are serving 27 people a night and over 524 people last year alone. Unfortunately, we have more people that show up than we have space for. But our mission is to be a safe place for them, not only to sleep at night, but also to connect up with services. So folks who come here to Roots are more likely to get into housing. They're more likely to enroll in school because they have a safe place to be at night. It makes a big difference. I got moved around in group homes a lot. And then when I turned 18, uh, they gave me a bus ticket, dropped me off at Roots. And uh, that was it. Oh, nobody wants to be homeless, but there's you know so few programs that will help. For these guys, it's very typical that this is just a short time fallback for them, right? Our average stay at Roots is 19 days. Um, and then there are others that really need a little bit more help. Uh, they get to know us, they stay with us a little bit longer, and the things we hear from them mostly is, I've been really let down. You know, they don't say it in so many words, but you know, these are kids coming out of foster care uh, or out of the juvenile justice system. I've never uh, experienced uh, a real family or, or love, you know, to be loved or, or what it's like to love someone else. If we can help folks be stable enough with where they're eating, where they're sleeping, that they can start thinking about those bigger things. Oh, what's going to happen for me next week? And what, are, what is it I'm looking forward to? Then, then, then we're doing our job. An unfortunate thing that happens to homeless people in, in this nation is we make them invisible. We take away the beauty of their, of their stories and we um, kind of don't even look at them. We don't make eye contact with them on the sidewalk. And uh, it's just, it's our problem too, and we have to own it and claim it and be present to it. I'm not a monster, you know, it's just some kid who wants a job like everybody else, and a place to live and uh, possibly a future. Here in King County, we have 600 people who don't have a stable place to sleep that are between 18 and 25 on any one given night. That's a lot of young people out on the streets. And you add up Roots, we're the biggest shelter in King County, and the two smaller shelters, there are 57 beds for those 600 people who don't have a roof over their heads. We can't do this alone. Every one of those 524 people that were through those doors last year needs to have a circle around them. And us and our army of 100 volunteers is not a big enough circle. It's just not. We, we need community support. We need people involved, engaged in, in a lot of ways. I, I honestly feel uh, most of the staff, volunteers, uh, want to see us succeed. They don't want us to suffer, you know, stay homeless. You know, they, they want to see us get jobs and uh, be successful. They, they, can, they can point you in the right direction. That's, that's the main thing they can give you, is, is, uh, is where to go and, and what to do. They can give you a, a list of jobs that are opening up during the week. For me, it's about relationship. If you have relationships that both challenge and deepen you, then, then you're on that path. <laughs>